cheap homesteading and today I want to show you my newest addition to my emergency preparedness kit and basically it is a pen radiation detector Geiger counter um, basically I, I the things that have been happening around the world lately uh, I really do feel it's kind of important to have something that can read radiation levels in your emergency kit uh, you know a little while ago I wouldn't have thought that but uh, things have been ramping up and you just never know what will happen. Um, and on top of it, we are more and more dependent on power grids that have nuclear reactors and stuff like that. So it may not be an attack or it may actually be like an accident, who knows. But the time to buy one of these is probably now and not uh, when something happens because you just won't be able to get one. I looked online, there's a ton of expensive Geiger counters, my goodness. Um, and I don't have a ton of money to go buy a bunch of stuff. And I, I looked at it, I looked online and it seems like it works and it was legit. Um, and it had some cool features, like you can actually carry it around with you. So it calculates how much dose you got. Uh, so I thought, you know what, that's kind of cool. So I ordered it up, came in. So I'm gonna show you what I got. It's a pen sized Geiger counter. Um, it can calculate your dose and everything. So I thought it was kind of cool. And on the back it says Green Vork's uh, handheld dose rate new. Um, so when you open it up, it has this uh, uh, supplier's declaration of conformity, uh, certificate of compliance. I mean, the thing's made in China, so I don't, I don't know how good that is, but. Um, this is what I could kind of afford. So in the box, you get a charging cable and the pen Geiger counter itself on the end of it with that little flap. It keeps uh, water and stuff out of the charging port. So uh, there you go. So that's where the charging port is. I You're supposed to charge it for two to four hours. I have so to turn the pen on, you hit the power button. And it goes welcome. It shows your dose rate. That's basically what's uh, happening right here, right now. You hit the other button here. So you hit this button. You go to the next one. That's your dose. I think that's how much you've actually acquired. I think I don't know. I gotta look into this. AVR. I, I have no clue what that is. I, so the kind of cool thing here, it's got the max. So it reads what your maximum doses was when you were kind of out. So it's got a little clip, put in your pocket, take it with you, and then it kind of calculates how much uh, you've been exposed to. So now you see up in the top corner, it tells you how much, how long the pen's been on. It's got a lock symbol. It's got a battery symbol and then basically you scroll through it with this button here. Um, the lock, it is locked right now. So to unlock it, you push the mode button for three seconds, and then you just push the power button. And you'll see that the lock came out. The only thing it adds if you scroll down is basically you can change your dose alarm. Uh, that's a dose rate alarm. So it's set to 100 microsieverts uh, per hour. So every time you shut it on and off, so you turn off the pen it'll lock again, which is kind of good so you don't end up changing it by accident. One thing I have to say, this manual is practically useless. Uh, the, it barely even really tells you how to unlock the screen. It kind of gives you a rough idea, but it's like, it, it's not good. Um, and, and honestly, I can't even say that this is good. I don't have another one to compare it to. I don't have, um, I don't know if it really works. Um, it does seem to fluctuate around here and I left it on yesterday and it'll show the highest level that it's read and I'll have like a 0.58 um, microsieverts. So it's a very brief moment around here 
and I don't live near a, a nuclear facility or anything, but I don't know what that is. But I kind of looked and it seems to be still low level. So it's just interesting to see why do I have those little spikes. Um, but we're gonna walk around the house. Some people say that the smoke detectors give off radiation. Um, we're gonna see if that's the case. We'll see if the microwave and that, uh, see if I can pick up anything else. So let's go try it. Okay, so we're gonna be a little bit quiet because everyone's asleep and I don't wanna wake them up. It makes people grumpy. So I need my glasses. That's an awful thing. You get older and you, you need glasses for everything. Okay, so I have it set on dose rate and we're just gonna walk around and see if it goes up. See, it is weird. It will actually um, go up and down and it's not related to where I am. I've tried. Um, right under my smoke detector now. See if uh, it'll go up when I start the microwave. It did go up to 40, 46, 52, 58. Man, if I turn this off. Okay, so it dropped again. Let's fire up the microwave again and see if it uh, goes up. No, it doesn't seem to. I don't understand why sometimes it actually spikes and other times it doesn't. the TV. Uh, my thermostat. So I had this on for the last uh, couple days and I was watching it and the highest spike I got was 0.58 microceivers. Um, and I, you know, that seems high, but it was like a very brief period of time and I would sit this on the couch and watch it and uh, not touching it, not moving it. And for a brief moment, um, maybe twice an evening, it would go up to like 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Um, the highest I've ever had when I leave it on overnight is 0 0.58. I don't live near a nuclear facility. I don't live near any of that. So I don't know what the cause of that is. If anyone knows, it'd be kind of interesting. Um, so this thing does seem to fluctuate, so it seems to be working, but there's no way for me to really test it. Yeah, I thought it was kind of important to have something in my emergency kit that uh, could actually uh, test radiation uh, if it's an accident or um, we end up getting into a conflict, which it sure looks like um, we are on that way. It doesn't mean we're going to need these things, but I kind of thought it's kind of important to uh, get it now because you probably can't get it later. Um, with the conflict that's happening overseas, um, when I say that overseas, it, like we are all together. If we have a conflict uh, in Europe, we have a conflict here if it turns nuclear. So it's really, really important to prepare for that. I feel like there's not much of a chance of that. I don't think anyone's gonna launch one, but it is important to at least have something to be able to uh, read it. And I like the idea that you can actually stick it in your pocket. It's got a little pen clip uh, and it can actually calculate your, how much you have accumulated on your way out, uh, which is kind of a cool idea. So I can't really test it. I can't say, oh, this is a great product because I, I can't really test it and know how good it is. But you know, for the price, um, 
I thought it was worth the uh, risk. So there you go. It's a uh, pen nuclear radiation detector. So um, I might try some videos out later if I get any higher levels or try to find some. But uh, that's about enough for today. You guys have a good one.